If you're as excited as we are about the future of smartphones, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into some exciting updates about Samsung's highly anticipated Galaxy S25 series. Let's break down everything we know so far about the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus and their game-changing upgrades. So, here's the scoop. The Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus were recently certified by the FCC, and the big news is, they're getting a significant boost with Wi-Fi 7 support. That's right, both models are finally catching up to the Wi-Fi 7 standard, which we've already seen on last year's Galaxy S24 Ultra. And guess what? The Galaxy S25 Ultra will also feature Wi-Fi 7, but this time the mid-tier Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus models are joining the party. Now, why does Wi-Fi 7 matter so much? Well, it's not just a fancy number upgrade. Wi-Fi 7 is blazing fast, delivering maximum speeds of up to 5.8 gigabytes per second, compared to Wi-Fi 6E's 2.4 gigabytes per second. It also comes with lower latency and a 320 megahertz channel bandwidth, which is almost triple what Wi-Fi 6E offers. Whether you're gaming, streaming, or just browsing, this is a game changer for connectivity. So why didn't the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus have Wi-Fi 7? The culprit was the Exynos 2400 processor, which didn't support this advanced standard. For the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus, Samsung is stepping up its game. The new Exynos 2500 processor is expected to support Wi-Fi 7, or Samsung might use a different chip altogether, like the Snapdragon 8 Elite or even MediaTek's Dimensity 9400. For US, China, and Canada, the Snapdragon 8 Elite is likely to power these devices. It's worth noting that apart from the Galaxy S24 Ultra, Samsung has already brought Wi-Fi 7 to a few other devices, like the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition and the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Interestingly, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip Sticks, despite having the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor stuck with Wi-Fi 6 EY, Samsung hasn't shared the reason, but it's a curious choice for flagship devices. Now, here's an interesting tidbit about the Galaxy S25 series. The base Galaxy S25 model will reportedly not support ultra-wideband UBB connectivity, making it the only flagship in the lineup without this feature. UBB is incredibly useful for precise tracking with accessories like the Galaxy Smart Tag Plus. Compared to Bluetooth, UBB offers better range, lower latency, and faster data transmission. So, if UWB is a priority for you, you might want to consider the S25 Plus or Ultra models instead. Finally, let's talk about the launch. The Galaxy S25 series is expected to debut at Samsung's first Galaxy Unpacked event next month. If Samsung sticks to its usual timeline, the phones should hit the shelves by the end of January, just like the Galaxy S24 lineup, which launched on January 31st this year. So, mark your calendars because the wait is almost over. So, what do you think about these upgrades? Are you excited about Wi-Fi 7 and the potential performance boost from the new processors? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, if you love getting early access to exclusive leaks, tips, and behind-the-scenes content, why not join our membership program? The link is in the description below. Don't miss out. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay tech savvy and keep exploring the future. Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is one of the most highly anticipated flagship smartphones of 2025. With its expected release just a few months away, this device promises to refine Samsung's already stellar reputation in a world of premium Android smartphones. In today's video, we'll dive deep into everything we know so far about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, from its release date expectations and price estimates to design changes hardware upgrades, and much more. So stick around as we explore why this device could be a game changer in the smartphone world. Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy S25 Ultra in early 2025, likely in January or February. The company has a consistent track record of launching its flagship series at the beginning of the year, and this trend seems to continue. Rumors suggest that the unpacked event for the Galaxy S25 series could occur on January 22, 2025, which aligns with Samsung's past patterns. This date makes sense as it allows the brand to capitalize on post-holiday enthusiasm while steering clear of the CES 2025 event, which runs from January 7 to 11. If this timeline holds, the device could hit store shelves by the first week of February. However, there's another twist in the story. A rumored new addition, the Galaxy S25 Slim, might join the lineup. This ultra-thin model could either launch alongside the S25 Ultra or arrive later in April or May. Pricing for the Galaxy S25 Ultra is another hot topic. 
The Galaxy S24 Ultra saw a price hike earlier this year, but will Samsung dare to increase prices again? Reports suggest the 256GB base model of the Galaxy S25 Ultra could start at $1,299 with a 512GB and 1TB options priced at $1,419 and $1,659 respectively. These are the same prices as the current S24 Ultra lineup, but there's a catch. If Samsung faces challenges with its 3M production yields, this could drive up costs, potentially affecting the final price. Fortunately, Samsung typically offers multiple ways to save. Expect trade-in deals and carrier discounts to make upgrading more affordable. For instance, Herna offers like Verizon's $800 discount with specific plans or Samsung's trade-in credits up to $750 could extend to the S25 Ultra. So if you're planning to upgrade, keep an eye out for these deals. Now let's talk about design. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to maintain its premium titanium frame, first introduced with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, there's a significant tweak, rounded edges. This design shift is expected to give the S25 Ultra a sleeker, more ergonomic feel, reminiscent of the iconic Galaxy Note series. Leaked renders also hint at a rounded back with a straighter front, creating a subtle asymmetry for a fresh look. The dimensions are expected to measure 162.82 x 77.65 x 8.25 mm, making it slightly thinner and narrower, but a touch taller than its predecessor. Additionally, the phone will feature Corning's glare-free glass, further enhancing its durability and aesthetics. When it comes to color options, leaks point to four stunning shades, titanium black, titanium blue, titanium gray, titanium silver, each color exudes elegance and continues Samsung's tradition of offering premium finishes. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is likely to retain its 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X panel, which has become a hallmark of Samsung's flagship series. This display will likely support a 1 to 120 Hz adaptive refresh rate, ensuring buttery smooth visuals whether you're gaming or scrolling. One area where we hope to see an improvement is maximum brightness. Samsung could enhance outdoor visibility by boosting the peak brightness beyond the current standards. This would be a welcome upgrade for users who frequently use their phones in bright environments. Cameras are always a highlight of Samsung's Ultra models, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra is no exception. According to trusted leaks, the device will feature a quad camera setup with the following specifications. 200 megapixel primary sensor, Samsung Isocell HP2, 10 megapixel telephoto camera, 3x optical zoom, 50 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, 5x optical zoom, 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor, Samsung Isocell JN3, while the primary telephoto and periscope lenses appear unchanged from the S24 Ultra, the new 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor promises significant improvements. The addition of this sensor is expected to enhance wide angle photography and low light performance. Eye driven enhancements will also play a crucial role. Samsung has been investing heavily in artificial intelligence for its camera systems, and we anticipate further improvements in image stabilization, portrait modes, and night photography. Under the hood, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to feature Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, promising lightning fast performance. This chip will likely be paired with 12 gigabytes of RAM in the base model, with a 16 gigabytes RAM variant also rumored. In terms of storage, the S25 Ultra might debut Samsung's latest UFS 4.04 lane storage technology, offering nearly 8 gigabytes slash sec speeds, doubling the performance of current UFS 4.0 standards. This upgrade will significantly enhance app loading times, multitasking, and overall efficiency. Battery performance is another crucial factor. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to pack a 5000 mAh battery similar to its predecessor. While a larger battery isn't likely due to space constraints, Samsung could improve battery optimization for longer usage. Charging speeds, however, remain a question mark. While the device is rumored to stick with 45 watt wired charging, we're hopeful for faster charging technology to compete with other brands offering 100 watt or higher speeds. On the software side, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will likely launch with One UI 7.1 based on Android 15. This iteration of One UI is expected to bring new customization options, improve multitasking features, and tighter Galaxy AI integration. Samsung's focus on privacy and security will also take center stage, ensuring users have greater control over their data. Expect enhancements like better app permissions, on-device AI processing, and secure file sharing. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be an impressive device, combining top-tier hardware, refined design, and cutting-edge software. 
If you're currently using an older model like the Galaxy S22 or S23, the S25 Ultra could be a worthy upgrade. However, if you already own the S24 Ultra, the differences may not be groundbreaking enough to warrant a switch unless you're drawn to specific features like the new ultra-wide camera or the sleek, rounded design. The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra represents the pinnacle of what Samsung aims to achieve in smartphone innovation. With its refined design, improved camera systems, and powerful hardware, this device is set to compete with the best in the industry. Are you excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest smartphones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.